Ooh, Arctic Aurora. How's that look? Ooh, that's nice. Let's stick with that one, shall we? Yeah. So hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive, where we've just came across a uh, one of the new Flyboys. Boys. We've got a lot to talk about. There has, well, there's kind of been new dinosaurs. Oh, like lizards, prehistoric creatures, we'll call them, uh, which is great. There has also been um, a glitch that is now prevalent, 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 <laughs> prevalent, uh, prevalent through the community, which is actually stopping a lot of people being able to even uh, access the game, being stu stuck on the loading screen. But Ludia have put out on their social media um, that they are aware of this glitch, so hopefully it's n it's not going to last too much longer. Um, and also another really kind of bad thing that well a lot of those two things right these have each coincided to make it even worse so the first one is that when it comes to dinosaurs a lot of dinosaurs had ooh I'll collect all this they had um an ability which was resilient um and they've got like Ludia has basically addressable life has basically got rid of the resilient class so what that means is you would get dinosaurs like Hadrosaur Lux, you know, something that was used quite a lot um, in a lot of the top player. I think most top player teams have a Hadrosaur Lux, you know, something, something similar. Um, so basically what this guy had was it's, well, it's resilient strike has changed. So it used to be a case of it would cleanse itself from damage reduction, which is still there, but it would also lower the other dinosaur's speed. And a lot of dinosaurs had this, including Hadrosaur Lux, which we're looking at right now. But it had it as a counter. So it felt as though as long as a dinosaur wasn't resilient or resistant to a speed reduction, then you have a good chance of going first next turn. However, this is now gone. And Ludia have put this whole big update out um, where a lot of dinosaurs, in fact, there's, I've got a whole list of them here. Ability updates. In this update, we revised the mechanics associated... <laughs> In this update, we revised the mechanics associated with resilient class abilities. Resilient creatures have the potential to overly dominate the battlefield because they have access to slowing behaviors, which can take over the time-based battle system. Myself, personally it it has been in the game for so long and it was kind of implemented for the exact purpose and reason to stop velociraptor remember when this game first happened or first was out everyone would max their velociraptor at level 30 they would do a pound straight away and then switch it out or something or you know another dinosaur of a similar kind of strategy so Lydia put in this new new tactic which was you could also cleanse yourself which is what pounds would do to you, would reduce your attack, and also reduce their attack, uh, sorry, speed. So next turn, you'd go first and you'd wipe it. Now they're having a rethink of it. Um, and I'll tell you why this is actually kind of not worked out the way they might think uh, once I've read this. In order to make this class more balanced with others, we replace the slowing behaviors in resilient class abilities with vulnerability. Uh, inducing behaviors. This makes sure the resilient creatures remain to foil uh, remain a foil to cunning creatures and also still pose a threat to fierce creatures uh, but are not predominant in an overall class meta. No, what Lydia has actually done has made the swap in meta way more prevalent. So you have resilient strike, you have in, uh, resilient impact, you have resilient rampage, you have the swap in st resilient strike, and then a medium resilient counterattack. So basically, you, it's all everything that was reduction in speed is now we're going to make it vulnerable. So because of this, um, and here they say, because we have put more focus on vulnerability and resilient abilities, we needed to adjust several creatures' vulnerable resistances. We also updated some resistant creatures' uh, abilities to make sure they stay true to their original use in battle. Not everything, <laughs> I've got to admit. Um, uh, finally, we took the opportunity to touch up a few creatures that were underperforming or overperforming. Basically, now, in the last video I did, we looked over a lot of the dinosaurs that were changing a lot, or the main ones, which was the um, the deer, um, which was never seen any kind of use. And if I'm gonna be honest, it still won't see any use. Um, the little heal you get every turn, max you're gonna survive is probably two to three turns. You're gonna get a little bit of heal. It could work. I think it could work, just we haven't seen, or I haven't seen it myself uh, used properly because this is another thing that's making this worse. There are no boost reshuffle events. 
Why, Lydia, why do you keep doing this to me? Why? <laughs> So, a lot of dinosaurs have had now their resilience, or vulnerability, I should say, updated on Tweet. This is why we scrolled here, like all these dinosaurs, basically they're just saying their resistance of resilient has been changed. There's so many of them. Uh, a lot of them probably that were just 100% because, let's be honest, nobody really used it. Um, it has now changed completely. Now there were some good updates, Utaranix got a major buff, that's the Testa Cornibus, uh, which is the, um, the, the deer has also had a big buff. And mainly, everything else has had its resistance to vulnerability changed. Now, why is this a bad thing? Well, because, let's say, you put, you put a lot into how to sort looks, right? But now it, it's changed completely, completely the way it was supposed to be used. It was, you know, it would reduce or, you know, um, make it so it probably go first next turn. So, you know, if you're facing against a, uh, a Trichosaurus, you know, maybe the Trichosaurus is faster than you. It hits you. It reduces your speed. But you get the counter and you go for resilient strike, which means that you're faster next time. Now, you'll just be slow both times and die in two turns. That's a big change. And for some, you know, a lot of players that have plowed a lot of boosts into dinosaurs like this, it's like, well, come on. Now, normally when Ludia changes something like this, or, you know, has a, has a big reshuffle or structure of the, the way the battles go, they sometimes add a boost reshuffle. Or they have done twice, I think, in the past so far. Which is good, because if I want to take the five speed boost that is on this Hadrosaur Lux, I would lose 250 boosts by taking them all off. Normally, I'd get, well, with the reshuffle event, I'd get 500. That's a lot. I'm losing two and a half worth of boosts there. And I think it's it's needed. And the, the, the problem is, Ludia haven't went on record to say if the boost reshuffles are a thing or if they're a once-off. It's like training a dog. You know, maybe you, you ask a paw, it gives you paw, you give a treat. Oh, it knows it's done good, right? And yes, I'm using the analogy that we are dogs and Ludia is the owner. And then, some, then another time you ask a paw, it gives you, it give you paw and no treat. It's like, what, what's going on? Is this going to happen? Like, do I wait until we get a reshuffle event? Because I don't want to lose these boosts. I'm never taking a boost off a creature, or maybe once, um, and only got half back. Because I've been waiting for these reshuffle events. So, now that this battle and the way this works has changed so drastically, do I do it now? I don't know. But, with that out of the way, let's have a look at what's coming up in this week's event, because of course this is Monday, and do we have some things to look forward to? Let's find out. From Monday to Tuesday, we have Majungasaur, the- <coughs> <coughs> Oh dear me, Colivarus, whatever it's called, the new flying lizard, as well as Ermatherium. Now I think a lot of us know that we probably shouldn't really go for the Colobus, I mean the uh, Majungasaur. It's either going to be Ermatherium or Colobosaurus, really. Uh, out of those two, you got 27 attempts of those. Wednesday to Thursday being the rares, you have Archaeopteryx, Compassing this Gen 2, Postosuchus and Baryonyx Gen 3. Out of those, really it's up to you. I'd probably go for Archaeopteryx um, or Baryonyx Gen 2. I think Baryonyx Gen 2 is one of the more rarer ones. I think it's for Gemini Titan or something like that. But well, I see lots of Postosuchus. Comes like this Gen 2 is not too hard. I don't think it has a great hybrid at the moment. But again, like you said, but you know, when it comes to this game, you never know when they're going to put something good in that's never used. Uh, or for ingredients are never used for. Friday to Saturday, being your epics, you have the Dodo, the Woolly Mammoth, and the Kentrosaurus. Kentrosaurus being the dinosaur that, out of these lot that's been in the longest, Dodo being the shortest. Up to you. I see a lot of people going for the Dodo hybrid in the higher higher levels and stuff like that. So maybe you want to work towards that Dodo. Or you want to go for a Woolly Mammoth hybrid. I'd suggest one of those too. Yes. Um, and finally, on the Sunday, you have one attempt for a Mammotherium or a Colahast. Which is the, one, the newest hybrid, actually. I think it's um, the Hast Eagle and... Well, I can't remember one of the, the new things I think it is. It's probably the... Uh, yes, it's the Lizard at the start. So if you want to... You can sort of get the ingredients ready for that, and then you get a free shot of it in sun oh, on Sunday. So a lot of these creatures, the Archaeopteryx, the Colobosaurus, and the Colhast are the new creatures, and you can just unlock them in your park. Maybe you just want to use them for an event, because a lot of the times in the skill tournaments, you need to have them unlocked to use them, and they just get put to level 26. And out of all those, you've got your options sorted. <laughs> 
So how is this affecting the general meta with this huge new update, basically? Well, uh, let's do a few battles and find out, shall we? I'll tell you something. I'm not doing as hot as I did before in the past, that's for sure. Um, so let's have a look. Right, so we're depending on the team. So here we go. Uh, now, after nine times, I maybe I'll start with the Hadasaur Lux. But, oh, I mean, oh, these creatures, basically the big change is Trichosaur now no longer with speed reduces and Hadasaur doesn't either. Uh, unfortunately, um, I don't have anything to switch in that can do damage like Model Orion or um, what's it called, the Sarah Magnus. And that's kind of what you want when you've got this new meta. So let's say I face up against this Malanemus. Now, what is its resistance to vulnerability? It's completely vulnerable. So he's gonna go first, he can do a hit to me. I do a counter and then I do a, was it a resilient thing here. So, I mean, does it make too much of a difference? Is that, do they stack? I think they may stack. So there's the counter and that's gonna make him vulnerable. Now it's basically 50% extra damage for the next thing that hits. And then I do this, so now he's, he's double vulnerable. Um, now, if I was to switch in and something was to do a hit, I think it would do quite a bit of damage here. So let's have a look. Let's, so we'll switch in Trichosaur. Now, bear in mind, he does have armor. He does have a shield. Let's see. So I would normally do about 1,000 damage. Let's say 500 with the shield. Okay, so yeah, it didn't really make much of a difference, did it? <laughs> Whoops, it tastes. And of course, now it goes to the high pounds. Um, I can't speed reduce them. I don't think it would be speed reduced anyway. Oh no, it's 50%, so it might have made a difference. But, I mean, with what? Uh, yeah, it possibly could have. It possibly could have. So now he's going to go for Rampage and Run. I'm just going to go for the Instant Invincibility because... He's probably going to have a switcher. I think, basically, I don't have a switcher. I don't have a Model Orion. I do not have a... Um... Oh, wait, what? Really? Why, though? Why did he do that? I would have went for the, the thing he hit. That was... That was a... I have no idea why he did that. That was weird. Whoa. If I just went for that, would I have killed him? No, I wouldn't have. Okay, so he was prepping. He was prepping. Okay. Instru oh, and now it comes. Now we bring up. We didn't get the crit, so well, there's that. Um, and let's see, let's see. Would he have switched into a Saramanx or Mono Rhino? And uh, well, it's a Draco, and I don't have a resistance to it. Even though I do have armor, I don't think it's enough to resist the the big hit here. So yeah. There it is. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> I love this game. It's brilliant now. Now the funny thing is, in the last video, I was like, I actually like doing the battles. This is interesting. This has never happened to me before. You know what? You know what the, the problem is now? I don't like doing the battles because now the battles are basically, I'll do one. I mean, they probably were more so before, I suppose, but for whatever reason, now it feels more so. Okay, so there's a vulnerability. So now I do set, I do an extra like 50%. 7,200 damage instead of 5,000, which is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So I don't know why he's swapping in here. I feel like he might have another swapper because he knows I'm going to go for the um, the resilient here. Um, and if that is the case, I, I feel like he's going to swap. Yeah, I, th I thought, yeah, that, look, you know, what? this is it. It's just a swapping meta at the moment. That's all this is. Don't don't take out the res the speed reduction, Ludia. Take find a way to fix the swapping meta. It's friggin' ridiculous. Um, and I mean, I know that's why they boosted the, uh, the the unique deer because if everybody is swapping, then it's just going to be getting health all the time, and then it gets hit, and then it gets more health. Um, so so I get that. I do I do get that. Um, let's, I mean, maybe we can win this. It's had two swappers, and I have had none. Maybe, maybe it's possible. So he's reduced my speed. He's reduced all that. Um, now, he, Sarah Magnus is dead. Sarah Magnus is dead. Um, he could probably go for a, um, like a speed boost now. Um, and it, he'd probably be in his right to do so. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing I could do there. I might as well have tried it. I've, I'm pretty much dead, but so is his Sarah Magnus. Oh, I'm alive! Never mind! I'm alive! Brilliant! <laughs> Okay, so what I mean, what can he do? If he has another friggin' swap in attack, I'll be. If he has a Model Rhino as well, Jesus. I guess in that case, he's got too many swappers, I suppose. Um, maybe he's just felt that was Ross with too much. And also, the unsung um, change to this update they freaking put Scorpius Rex's eyebrows up another quarter of an inch. <laughs> he's got like points now. Um, ooh, interesting, interesting. Okay, so what do we go for here? Do we think we go for that? 5,000, or we go... Ah, we might as well go for that, eh? He Maybe he'll still have this next time, even if he does. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. So there we Oh, a crit as well. Beautiful. Right, this is going to be tricky. This is going to be very tricky here now. Does it show what he did? 
Oh, he did go for it. That's actually really good for us. Um, because I think he's only got Smalinemis now. He's got Smalinemis and Trico. Now, we could go for the, uh, the Hadosaur and we would be quicker. However, he's going to do 5,000 damage. And I'd rather not have that. So we're going to go for the safe. We're going to go for safety. I think we pretty much won this. We're going to go for the reducing his attack by 50%. He'll go for his biggest hit, which will probably be the 2,500. Um, and either way, he's he could survive. If, if I didn't get a crit, he could have went for instant invincibility here. Um, and of course, you know, survived or whatever. Um, and then he would have done this next turn. I think either way, they both work out. He probably would have died. And then here comes the big hit. Doesn't even matter if Smilonemus comes in. <sighs> but, oh, I mean, as you can see, the Hadosaur would have probably played a more vital role there if I could have sped reduced. Especially against the Trico. Yeah, he just decided time. And I was like, nah, rage quit. I don't care. <laughs> Unlike, unlike other YouTubers, I lose, I will put those battles in for you. Because I don't really care about winning or losing, apart from if I'm really close to getting into Nublar Shorts, which I've already done once, so who cares? So, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of this update. Do you think they should change it back? I am almost 100% certain you'll definitely say they need to put a boost reshuffle. And we, they should just be a thing on the first of every month or something for a week. You're allowed to reshuffle your boost. The problem is with this game at the moment... There's too much emphasis, and you spend too much coin leveling a creature up, putting boosts on it, for then all of a sudden the meta to change and you don't use that creature anymore. And what are your options? Well, you take all the boosts. I mean, for instance, I've got uh, the Compi Hybrid, which is down here at level 24, and I've put 18 speed boosts on it. If I was to take that off, it's almost 500, basically. I'd be losing five, um, maybe even more to just, you know, taking those boosts off. So it's really, I do not want to do that. And I was waiting for a boost reshuffle to do that because at the moment I'm not really thinking of using it. It hasn't really worked its way into my mind <laughs> as far as the strategy goes. So let me know what your thoughts are. And until next time, I'll see you baby babies later. Oh, bye-bye.